508, how are you? Uh, so today is Sunday, July 22nd, 2019. Uh, we're getting to the very end of our summer course. This, uh, the topics this week are the last of your six week mission. Um, yeah, this journey has been great. You guys have done wonderfully. As you can see, we're in a, in a very unique setting today. Um, your people in the background. Um, so we're at um, UCSD, uh, University of California, San Diego, Morris Cancer Center. Um, I've can, kind of hinted about Julia's uh, clinical trial that she's in for her chronic lymphocytic leukemia and the drugs that she takes kind of, they reduce the cancer in her immune system, but they also make her immune system extremely vulnerable. And so what she does is once a month she gets intravenous injections um, with the, uh, antibodies, it's called intravenous IgG. Um, and it gives her the flavor of the month immunity from what everybody else has. It's amazing. They actually, uh, when you donate blood, they um, segregate out the blood, the antibodies from everybody's blood, and then they combine it from anywhere from 20 to about 40,000 people. And that mix is what she gets in a bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it away here. And there you can see Julia. And if we continue on, you can see her bag uh, of, of uh, antibodies right up there. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so Julia says hi. Hi. Hi, Jill. Hi. All right. So again, today's uh, mission is about uh, there he is. It is about uh, uh, meditation and also uh, gratitude. And uh, so. We have a pretty cool relationship, don't you think? Right. Yes. So we have we're a great grateful. marriage, and we're very grateful. And and part of being um, in a good marriage is that you do lots of caregiving. Like I've said a million times, you got to find people that are supportive and understand what it is you're going through. And so, um, so I'm part of the support crew. And so so anyway, so today is just a, a once a month tune up, and uh, um, so you can. I'll put you on the spot, <laughs> but you can you can talk about maybe how you meditate a little bit, you know, because you know putting in the IV, um, you know, stuff like that. We'll see right here. Um, she does have the IV in her arm, okay, and uh, and um, just you know about how you get how you're getting through the process. So go ahead. Okay. So we're talking about meditation and gratitude this um, week, and one thing I do before every appointment is I use my Fitbit has a little button that is a relaxed button where you yes, practice yeah. breathing exercises. See? <laughs> Sorry. You press the relax button and it takes you through a short breathing exercise that can really help reduce your stress. And cancer patients laugh a lot that they come and take our blood pressure right before you take our blood and put the IV in, before we get our test results, before we know how we're doing. And so every cancer patient that I talk to says, you know, I go in and I'm super stressed out about what the results are going to be and what's going to happen today. And, and um, so taking that few moments to do a little bit of meditation or relaxation exercise helps tremendously. I also have on my phone an app called Mvana that has a kind of visualization breathing meditation exercise where you're supposed to imagine yourself surrounded by light. And, and, and you know what? It works. So uh, the first time I had a bone marrow biopsy, I was extremely nervous. Um, they really aren't that bad, um, but anticipation is kind of worse than the real thing. And I used my meditation app on my phone to kind of calm down and you know get some perspective, et cetera. And in terms of gratitude, there's a nationwide shortage of blood products. What I'm getting is a blood product that pools antibodies from 30,000 people, and then it gets... Um, split up among cancer patients and people like me that are immunocompromised. And so I'm extremely grateful for, for people who um, donate blood. Our son has been a blood donor before in the past and he's gonna sign up this week to give blood because there is such a, a, a huge need right now. Um, during the summer months, people go on vacation and they, they don't give blood. So, um, so gratitude is important um, to just take a moment to stop and remember um, each of us has bad things in our lives and each of us has things that are amazing and wonderful and beautiful that we can be grateful for. So I'm grateful for antibodies. Yes, and, and, and in terms of this concept of gratitude, um, there we go, we get us both in there again. Um, so there is there is this concept of left brain and, and right brain and, and, and our, our left brain is what, what um, 
which kind of drives our behavior based on we sit and we think about everything that's happened in the past and sometimes it, you can be ruminating about bad things and then uh, the left side, so the front part of the brain then plans for the future and and that planning for the future can also include uh, worrying. <laughs> so these are, you know, really complications of being human. The right side of the brain, however, is about living in the moment and uh, not worrying about the past, not worrying about the, uh, the, the, the future, but living in the present. And, and, and it's, you know, smelling the roses, it's your artistic side of the brain, your creative side of the brain. And it's your gratitude side of the brain, <laughs> um, to put it simply. So that's a kind of a lesson to be learned that we all need to, to live in the moment and, and, and be grateful and maybe take a little meditation to, to, to let that happen. All right. So this is just a, a hey, what's up? A little more human side to who we are <laughs> and what we're going through. And what, what I'm going to end the video right here. And then um, I will also include a, a beautiful article that Julia wrote. Uh, about what it's like to be in a clinical trial and how important it is, and and then I'm also going to to um, send a link to a video from former President Barack Obama talking about the Affordable Care, Care Act. And Julia wrote a beautiful letter to to him, and lo and behold, uh, his head press secretary calls Julia. It says uh, President Obama read your letter, and he wants to talk about you in his next speech. So he. Uh, talks about Julia in the speech about the Affordable Care Act. And what, what was so amazing about it is, first of all, how smart she is, how articulate she is. <laughs> but what was incredible is they didn't change a word. So uh, President Obama reads what Julia wrote him verbatim, which is pretty cool. And you'll see when 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 he reads her words, you'll see how smart she is. So, all righty. All right, so that's it, guys. And we'll, we'll, I'm going to do a true nuts and bolts um, lecture later on that is all about the content that is listed in this week but uh, I just wanted you guys uh, to have a little exposure to what we're going through today all right so we'll see you next time oh, right on. <laughs>